In this episode, the HTC HD2 runs Mego Linux, there's an Ubuntu tablet, and running Linux on Sony's PlayStation 3. You're listening to Linux News Log, separating the Linux and open source signal from the noise, a proud member of techpodcasts.com. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm your host Adrian, coming to you almost live from lovely Phoenix, Arizona, here in Studio C1 at QuickSurf Internet Media. Linux News Log is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. Do feel free to head on over to techpodcast.com and check out all the other technology-related shows over there. Let's go ahead and get into the stories for Season 11, Episode 20. From Information Week, I ran across a story. Uh, HTC's HD2 has been hacked to run Mego Linux. Now, for those of you who are not familiar, Mego Linux is supposed to be the mobile Linux uh, distribution uh, developed by Intel and company. And um, the uh, the story here, independent iPhone and Macintosh developer Stephen Troughton Smith has been able to get Mego Linux running on the HTC HD2 smartphone. Knowing the HD2 hardware is similar to that of the Nexus One, which already can run Mego, Troughton Smith decided to experiment with running the Linux operating system on HTC's hardware. The developer followed the instructions on Mego's wiki page, and uh, he he points out he didn't deviate from the instructions very much at all to get it working, and boom, there you go. It's running. So uh, check it out. Um, if you have an HTC HD2 smartphone and you want to run Mego Linux on it, it's totally doable, so uh, get right in there and check your out. From Electronista, Gadgets for Geeks, Ubuntu Linux, to enter the tablet fray with Tanks P07. Ubuntu will get its first entry into the same tablet arena filled with, by Android and iOS with a newly uncovered model. Now, this is new for Ubuntu. Tanks P07 is running Ubuntu Netbook 10.10. It's more optimized for touch as a result. Uh, a 32 gigabyte SSD provides the main storage. Ubuntu's light requirements give it an almost instant boot time. So uh, pretty nice. Uh, basically, it's a 1.6 gigahertz Atom chip, 2 gigs of RAM. You know, it's probably uh, likely to run faster than equivalent Windows tablets with that same hardware simply because uh, Ubuntu uh, Netbook... 10.10 is is uh, quite a bit smaller in terms of software footprint, but uh, check it out. Um, the they've got some pictures up of the hardware. It's pretty nice stuff. From the Independent, I ran across this posting: PlayStation 3 hack goes deep and goes public. Hackers and security enthusiasts have released high-level decryption tools for the PlayStation 3, meaning that homemade games, alternative operating systems, and even software piracy and online cheating are likely just around the corner for the previously watertight console. Now, the reason why a lot of this is brought up uh, is because IT security expert Michael Stale, 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 I don't know how to say his last name, um, the, the primary, he, he's bringing up the primary motiva motivation behind all this hacking is is not for piracy of games but rather for the implementation of the alternate operating system linux though those hacks are then modified to play pirated games he contends either you support linux on your hardware or it will be hacked so it will run sooner or later the original playstation 3 allowed it there's no reason why it can't now and uh so that's primarily what this is about check it out it's, it's a pretty good read um you know, as with all things hacking in Linux, it, it's uh, pretty neat. From desktoplinux.com, Oracle updates its free hypervisor. This I'm a huge fan of Oracle. Uh, it used to be uh, Sun's uh, VirtualBox. It's now Oracle VirtualBox. I use VirtualBox all the time, especially when I'm testing distributions and that, you know, trying new stuff out and that sort of stuff, uh, doing programming. I do quite a bit of programming and, and uh, the virtual environments make it really easy to test older versions of operating systems and older versions of uh, you know installations and uh, it, it makes 
testing very, very easy when you have stuff like this virtualized. You don't have to have a whole array of boxes. You can do it with just uh, one beefy box and a, a bunch of virtual machines. Anyway, uh, Oracle has released a new version of its free virtualization software. It's an easier to use interface and has added capabilities. VirtualBox 4.0 offers new virtual hardware, including PCI Express and HD audio, and it makes it simpler to delete or resize disk images, according to the company. Kind of nice. Uh, VirtualBox 4 is a Type 2 hypervisor, which means it's hosted. It requires a host operating system and then allows virtual machines to run on top of that host. It's distinct from a Type 1 bare metal hypervisor, where theoretically, which would theoretically offer more robustness and require less physical memory to operate. I'm fine with either one. Type 1s are nice if you have a big beefy machine and you want to run a lot of stuff like, you know, a lot of IBM's Blade Center stuff and that sort of thing works really well. Uh, same thing on Dell's blade systems works really well uh, for a bare metal hypervisor. But, um, you know, for somebody like me or your average home user, that's not necessarily what you need to have. You can you can get by with a type two as long as your system can can uh, can run it from life hacker, Windows, Mac, Linux. Yes, our favorite DVD ripping video. Converting program handbrake has been updated to 0 0.9.5. Uh, they add batch scanning, queue editing, and Blu-ray support. This is a big deal. Uh, Blu-ray is pretty nice. Um, go check it out. It's handbrake.fr. I'm a huge user of handbrake. I just had to throw this out there. It's open source. It's free. It's multi-platform. You can get it on uh, just about everything that's operating system based. Uh, really great stuff. That will do it for this edition of Linux Newslog. As always, everything we've talked about is linked up in the show notes. Just visit us on the web at linux.quickshift.com. You can uh, see everything I've talked about. Uh, follow me online, twitter.com slash Adrian underscore Bacon. And with that, I will see all of you on the next episode. Uh, the next episode will be the season finale for season 11. We will then go into season 12 the following week. So uh, that's kind of exciting. I'm trying to think of something interesting to do. Uh, shoot me an email, linux at quicksurf.com, if you have any great ideas. And uh, with that, I will see you then. Bye. <laughs>